Hi guys, welcome to the second episode of uh, Straight Talk, Top Gear Philippines 10 minute motoring uh, talk show, which you can uh, catch on uh, topgear.com.ph and uh, podcast.ph. Uh, I'm Vernon from Top Gear Philippines and I have with me my two associate editors for print and online, Paulo Subido and Dinzo Tabamo. Hi guys. Hello. And our topic for our uh, second episode is car sales. And um, papano. Kasi ang dami nagsasabi, sobrang traffic ngayon. Car sales daw yung, yung dapat sisiye, no? Ang daming bagong new cars na nabibenta. Gusto ko maintindihan gano'n ba kalaki itong numero na pinag-uusapan natin. So we have with us right now si Mr. Froy Landi Chankin. He's the first vice president of uh, Mitsubishi Motors Philippines. Froy? Hi, Vernon. Hi, uh, Dinzo. Hi, Pao. Hi, Froy. And, uh, it's a privilege to be here. And invite natin si Froy. Second episode. Yeah. Because Mitsubishi is the second best-selling car company in the Philippines. Uh, next only to, to Toyota. Yeah. How many how many new cars do you sell in a in a month? Well, for for Mitsubishi, we're averaging uh, around four thousand five hundred uh, units per month. No? A month. That's yeah. one car brand only. Yeah, that's uh, only for us. If you're referring to Toyota, we probably double. No. Yes. So they're uh, selling around nine thousand or ten thousand uh, a month. Yeah. So that's only for two brands. No? Paul, do you know that uh, the target of the <coughs> whole car industry for this year alone, twenty fifteen? Is um, 310? 310. That's Thousand? the forecast of camping. That's, uh, that's, that's a really amazing, let's, <laughs> huge number. Let's do the math. 310,000 for one year. So that's 25,800 new units in a month. And around mga 860 units a day. Yeah. And sinabi ni Fry kanina din so na 70% daw, 65 to 70% ng new car sales nakakoncentrate sa NCR, sa Metro Manila. So, 65, 70% of 860 new cars a day is 600 units. Correct. Can you believe this? So, we have 600 new cars being added to the road in Metro Manila every day. And where does all that go? Dinzo, tingin mo, saan na pupunta yun? I have to share something with our viewers, Vern. Um, that I know that it's a lot of cars, but we have to also remember that the, the, uh, the huge car sales, this also generates jobs for a lot of people and it's uh, it, it's something to think about as well. Oh, correct. Actually, it's a very, uh, very big industry. Power, oh. yeah. Especially Mitsubishi has a mm, manufacturing yes. facility. How many models do you manufacture here? Right now? Uh, actually, right now we have uh, two vehicles, the L300 and Adventure and these two vehicles are actually for for entrepreneurs. For no? and, uh, no, it's next, for, for domestic, domestic, for Philippines domestic, yeah, domestic okay. market. And, and uh, right now we're, we have a manpower complement of 900 people Sa are, manufacturing, uh, yeah, manufacturing, yeah. Oh, it's a and, lot. And for right, I'm sure a lot of the materials for the cars also come from outside. Then the, the, the support industry, Your, the ancillary uh, network for manufacturing is actually quite big. Yes. You have vendors, you have dealers, mm -hmm. so all rely on the manufacturer. Yeah, but car sales, <laughs> Fry, what, why do you think car sales sobrang matindi in growth these uh, these days? Bakit bakit malakas ang benta ng mga bagong auto? Well, bottom line, uh, Vernon, it's basically the economy. The economy is doing good. And uh, when we're talking about the economy, it's about the, the GDP per capita. We're, we're actually seeing now a market uh, explosion, meaning uh, Filipinos are already uh, have a high confidence level for buyer's confidence, no? And right now, if we're saying the GDP per capita reaches 3,000, that's where the peak of car sales actually will be booming. No? You that's mentioned, similar to you mentioned, Thailand and you mentioned confidence. You mentioned confidence among buyers, ano? but uh, talaga bang may capability na tayo to uh, finance mga bagong kotse? Because minsan may nagpapadala sa aming press release yung mga banko. Ano? May mga repossessed cars sila na binibenta. Ang daming mga repossessed cars yung obviously hindi kayang bayaran on a regular basis yeah. ng mga... One thing that is attracting people to buy new cars is the initial cash outlay. It's very, very low. It's very affordable. And without taking into like consideration... Let's say for, for Mirage, monthly. you can just get it for 30000 Yeah, and uh, without payment. without considering your monthly. Yeah, papan, yeah. Papan because uh, the, the, the theory there is, uh, of course, initial cash outlay is important, but... Later on, as you, let's say, for five years, you finance it for five years, you expect some improvement in your salary. Meaning the family con family income will get higher as, as uh, the years pass. It's, uh, they call it like the wheels of success. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We mentioned Karina 600 new cars, Metro Manila alone. 
Ang problema wala tayong phase out program sa Pilipinas. Niso, you were telling me about sa Japan. Well, well, yeah, regulation is one thing which consider with the old cars. In in Japan, I remember, if your old car is um, technically sound and the inspector is fine, that's the only time you can register. You can register. But if it, if it doesn't pass the inspection, if it's not roadworthy, well, ideally, dapat naman ganon talaga. Eh, kaya yes. tayo may mga emissions test. Eh, but hindi yun yung totoo ng nangyayari. No? Yeah. You go out there, you you see a lot of. Uh, Cars that are not roadworthy, roadworthy. Uh, yeah. not dilapidated and spewing black smoke. I, I think most of these are actually coming from the previous used vehicles. No? Yeah. I, I think right now we're also witnessing some the replacement of these used vehicles which were yeah. actually sold in, in the past years or past decade. Yeah. No, is it really that we're talking about the new cars? Tra- are they the cause of traffic? That's, well, you have that, to do the math. Question. You have to do the math. 600, 600 new cars added to the road every day you have to wonder saan napupunta lahat tong mga coaching to for us no uh, as a uh, in the automotive industry as a representative of the automotive you cannot stop it eh? considering uh, this has happened in so what do we have to do other, as a nation the, the government what what well we, we have to we have to uh, have some check and balance well what did so mention no like there, there should be a uh, for for use vehicle stricter implementation for make it more vehicle. expensive for everyone to uh, yeah. keep mga super old cars. Yeah. Yeah. But the problem there, there's no inspection. No, uh, how do you inspect it? Who inspects it? So right now, this these systems are not are not in place. Right. Oh, now. you're a fan of classic cars, more yeah. old school cars. Are you are you in favor of yeah, retiring yeah. old cars? No, don't force the people to throw their cars away or scrap them. But I'm okay with having to pay extra just to keep my old car on the road. That that's okay. Okay, uh, Troy, you're saying in five years' time. Half a million uh, new cars. Yeah, that's, that's a projection the every year. Yeah, that's a project, uh, projection. Hindi ba medyo nakakatakot? No, for 2020, that's already 500,000. So probably next year another double are digit. You, are you consciously making an effort to uh, dr- uh, drive the you know in sales growth new outside of Metro Manila? Well, well, for us, we in the case of Mitsubishi, our ratio is more or less 60, on the 65-35, meaning 65 in Metro Manila, 35 in the provincial areas because we have um, yeah. uh, a good I, network in the provincial areas. I think areas. sa provinces, yes. no, marami pang mga, uh, you know, roads, road space na yeah, pwede yeah, pa nilang gabitin. Yeah. Pero sa Metro Manila, parang ang sikip-sikip na. What about the, Juan, discipline? What if, even if there are more cars now, what if people are more disciplined? That, that's that's also one thing. Uh, I think that that should be the one being uh, well, the, the, the total focus of traffic. As a car industry executive, Fry, hindi ka hindi ba kayo nagwawari na sabi mo after five years magpaplato na to, magpaflatline yung growth nyo? Uh, for for us, I think it will still take time to plateau because right now we're still the ratio of uh, vehicles versus the population is still very very low. Yeah, you were saying kanina, how many how many cars right do now, Filipinos have per 1000 people? Right now it's 30 cars per 1000. The say versus Indonesia. Indonesia, ah, Thailand is 206 per 1000. So 1, for 000. every 1000 citizens, ang in, ang Indonesia merong ilan? Uh, Indonesia ah, Thai- Thailand has 206. 200. Japan has 588. And tayo 30 lang. 30 lang tayo. So you're so, saying that... So you, you will really expect that the ratio will... Or the car sales will actually go uh, significantly increase to the, to the years to come. Okay. Parang sobrang... It's it's actually uh, frightening. But again, yeah. there, there, are, Manila resident, there, there are road uh, infrastructures going on. And I think this will be finished by two or three years' time. And... Again, so there will be two, three years. Patayong medyo car magido nito every. Well, every if, year. if you think, if you think like, like let's say Thailand right now, they they have a lot of road infrastructure already, but still, tra- you can experience Bangkok traffic, and it's you're, we're not talking only okay. one hour, two hours. I guess the solution hours. now is to uh, move to next year office. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's uh, what we have. That's that's all we have for now. Uh, Nakita natin yung numbers, no? So talagang fantastic yung car sales growth. But also, we, we need to address that para ma-solution na natin yung, yung traffic. I, mean, I think government should uh, work with the industry, with the, with, with the other agencies okay. no, to be able to solve this problem. Okay. So, yun lang po tayo uh, for today. Yun po yung, traffic, uh, yun po yung uh, topic natin. I hope may natutunan tayo. And um, we invite you guys. 
follow, invite the uh, uh, Top Gear Philippines magazine on newsstands. Please check it out. Lots of good stuff here. We all love cars. Beans? Watch out for more uh, news and podcasts on tapio.com.ph. One question before we go. Yes, right. Everybody's been uh, asking us about this. Kailan ang launch ng Mundaira Sport? Yung bagong Mundaira Sport? It's Kami? soon, very soon. And, uh, probably Time frame? Early next year. Early next year, guys. Yeah, exciting. So if you're in exciting. the market for a mid-size SUV, the Mundaira Sport is coming early next year. So guys, uh, on behalf of uh, the whole uh, podcast production team for uh, Street Court, yeah, I thank you for tuning in again. And uh, come back again next, next week. We have an exciting topic next week. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.